I'm Amy Gerdes. I'm here today to uh, talk about our SARE Research and Education Project that's currently active, Growing Business and Marketing Skills for Beginning Farmers and New American Farmers in Lincoln, Nebraska. So I work for Community Crops as the Education and Development Specialist. Community Crops provides education, experiences, and advocacy for people in our community to grow local food. So we have 10 community gardens and two farm sites, and we wrote this project really as a direct result of the feedback we were hearing from our farmers about what they needed to become successful businesses. So we work with a lot of immigrant and refugee growers who have really strong production skills, but need help navigating US systems and learning more about how to do marketing um, and business management. So by the end of this project, we will offer 12 workshops that teach business and marketing skills to small scale farmers, specialty crop producers in the Lincoln, Nebraska region, as well as increase the confidence and awareness and knowledge for those farmers to do those things um, and build their businesses in a sustainable way. So as I mentioned in the previous slide, this project was designed to be a 12 workshop series. We are working with our community, other organizations and experts in our community, um, as well as local farmers to provide really quality content and recruit experts to teach these classes. We're also able to make translation and interpretation available at each workshop. So our, in terms of our student experience, our farmers do get compensated for coming to classes. We think it's really important to compensate people for their time, which is such a precious resource, uh, as well as their dedication to learning and to their businesses. So we do that through stipends per class, as well as a graduation or a completion stipend for those students who do go through all 12 workshops. Um, this is a really cool project because we were able to write in for laptops as well. So students that need them are able to check out a laptop for, from us for completing their coursework and um, building their business. And additionally, those graduating students will be able to keep those laptops um, after this project is done. So that ownership will transfer to them. Um, so we think it's really important to set people up for success and make sure they have the tools needed to um, accomplish what they're trying to do. In terms of data collection and measuring our success at teaching, uh, we are mostly doing that through pre and post surveys. Uh, it's usually three to four questions asking about attitudes, beliefs, understanding of core concepts, and maybe practices in use, intention to adopt practices as well. So in year one, we actually offered nine courses. So we taught 29 unique students and 17 of those were core students, uh, meaning that they are students who intend to complete the full workshop series from beginning to end. We did hit some of our target audiences, so 65% were new Americans uh, in those immigrant and refugee groups, and then 35% fell into our beginning farmer category. We have made video recordings available for each class. Um, we captured those during, during the classes and they're available for students to reference beyond the, the classes themselves, um, as well as that's our mechanism for people who need to make up courses. So we're still working on our post-survey data collection and analysis, and um, the overall response has been positive. Uh, in year two, we're continuing to offer classes. We taught a lot of business fundamentals uh, in year one, and we're moving into more farm specific topics in year two. So we'll also be incorporating one-on-one -on -one coaching for our core students so that we can really work with them directly to make their dreams and goals a reality. So in 2024, at the end of this project, we'll graduate our core group of students finish analyzing our data, and hopefully walk away with a 
core curriculum we can use um, to repeat in the future so that this is not just a standalone project. With any questions, you can contact me, a Gerdes, at familyservicelincoln.org. And thanks for listening.